Hi guys, uh, this is uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another vi video in our series of videos uh, dealing with set theory, uh, is going to concentrate on an important, uh, an important set, okay, uh, which is known as the power set, okay. So what is, I suppose, maybe just to get this started, uh, maybe we probably need to provide a, a definition, and maybe a, a definition in in narrative form, uh, in relation to what the power set is okay so by definition let's say let's just define it definition right okay, okay, uh, okay, the power set okay, right, uh, the power set okay, of a set a okay let's say symbolized symbolized by let's say p so it's a bold p let's say p a okay okay is the set of all subsets okay of a okay so it's actually straightforward it's actually a nice set okay uh, it's a set of all possible subsets of a particular set okay so let's have a look at a, a couple of examples okay so let's say example one let's keep this example small okay example one uh, let's consider the set A uh, that contains, let's say it just contains two elements, okay? So it's a set that has two elements, uh, let's say the number two and the number seven, okay? And what we want to do is we want to construct the power set of A, okay? So we'd like to construct the power set, okay? The power set of A. Well, let's just keep in mind by the definition, the power set of a set A symbolized by P of A is the set of all subsets. So the power set is a set. So actually what we need to do is we need to say that this is a set, okay? And it contains elements, okay? And the elements that it contains are all the subsets of, of A. So all the possible subsets that can be, that can be constructed uh, from A, okay? So let's come up with a strategy for, uh, I suppose, for, for constructing all these possible subsets. So what we'll do is this, is that we'll choose the smallest possible set that we can choose, okay? The smallest possible set is, I suppose, what's defined to be the empty set or the null set, okay? And the empty set has no elements, but by definition, the empty set is a subset of all sets. Now, I do have a video, uh, another video that uh, gives you an explanation of why the empty set is a subset of all sets. There's a little bit of a, a, we need to sort of differentiate between when we talk about something being a subset and something being an element of. When we say that the empty set is a subset of all sets, we, we're not saying that the empty set is an element of all sets, we're saying that's a subset from the context uh, that we cannot find anything in the empty set that's not listed in, in our set A. So by definition, the empty set is a subset of all sets and it's the smallest possible set. So the empty set is a subset of A. Okay? So that's the empty set. The next possible size set that we could have, okay, up from the empty set, is sets that have just single items in them, or they have single elements, or the singletons, yeah? Uh, so what we have here is we have two elements in here, okay? So the next possible set that we could have as a subset of A is all the possible singletons, yeah? Where the singletons, the elements in the singletons are taken from the set A itself. So if we just take the first element, two, if we put it inside a set, what we end up with is a singleton. This set here is a subset of the set A because all elements in this set are contained in the set A. Clearly, the only element in here is two, and it is, there's a two listed in A, so this set that contains two, the singleton is a subset of A. The next singleton that we could have is seven, okay? So seven is also a subset. Uh, the set that contains the element seven is also a subset of A. And then the next possible set that we could have is sets of size two, okay? Now, the only set of size two that can be a subset of this particular set is itself because all sets by definition are subsets of themselves. So in this particular case here, what we have is we have also the set that contains two seven, okay? And that's how we construct the power set, okay? So in this particular example, it's straightforward enough, okay? We start off with the empty set, then we, con then we include all sets that contain the singletons, okay? And then we include all sets that contain pairs, okay? Or, or two elements, and in this case, 
uh, that's where we stop because if we continue and try to include sets that have three elements well sets with three elements ain't going to be a subset of this set because there'll be one more element than there is in this particular set let's consider another example let's consider an example where we have three where we have three a set of cardinality three okay so example two okay so let's say in this case that b is equal to the set that contains the values two seven and let's say nine as an example okay and what we want to construct is we want to construct the power set of b okay so the power set by definition is a set okay uh, it contains all possible subsets so once again let's start with our base case the smallest possible subset that we could have is the empty set okay uh, the next pos uh, smallest possible uh, sets that we could have uh, are sets of cardinality one or of size one they're the singletons so let's take the first element and let's put it in a set so there's two so that's a subset of the set b let's take seven and let's put it in a set so this is a singleton as well and this is a subset of this set as its elements are contained in this set and then finally we have then finally we have nine okay now what we're going to do from a process perspective